you're watching Ultimate MMA Brief, guys, and uh, it's finally time for another Undiscovered Fighter, so let's just jump right into this. So the way I found this Undiscovered Fighter is really, really, really interesting, actually. Um, the fighter that I found is uh, Rafael Natal, and um, the way I found him is, uh, actually, I was reading this old um, fight magazine, which I don't usually buy, and it's an old one. Uh, it was from before the uh, George St. Pierre Koscheck fight, and um, I was reading it, and they had an article on um, just... Uh, it's called New Blood, and there was um, a couple of cool people. There's Shane De La Rosario, who actually won in Strike Force um, when I was there, and there was a couple articles. Um, uh, Cole Conrad, if any of you've seen this, this is not product placement because I'm not nowhere near big enough to get um, Fight Magazine to be sponsoring me. But um, so one of the articles that I read was uh, Rafael Natal, and uh, Rafael Natal. I'll just read it straight off the thing. Uh, at the time, his record was uh, 12, uh, 12 and two. Uh, now his record, I believe, is uh, 12, 3, and 1. Uh, he's a, he's a middleweight, and uh, he's a Brazilian, nicknamed Sapo. Just going to read straight off the thing. And uh, he recently entered, not recently anymore, um, entered a four-fight contract with the UFC. Now, uh, after that four-fight contract, I can't tell you the names because my iPods decided to crap out on me. But um, he's um, he, he had one draw and one loss. So, like I said, he's now 12-3-1. and one. Um, Beyond that, um, what I like about him, and I'll tell you what specifically I like about him, uh, Rafael Natal was recently awarded his fourth degree black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, which is really, really very, 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 very good, even for the UFC. And um, another thing, he's also... In, I like the fighters that are interesting style fighters. Like They're not just... Like, you have people who are boxing. You have people who are Muay Thai. You know, the classic MMA styles. But I like the people that try to come in and incorporate just new styles into MMA. And I enjoy it. Like, it's why um, when people come in trying to introduce Kung Fu into MMA, I like it. Um, when people come in trying to introduce styles like Rafael Natal. Rafael Natal is also, I believe, I think it's Black Sash. I don't know exactly what they call it. But um, he... Uh, he is a black something, whatever. He's a master of capoeira, which, if for those of you who don't know, if you've been sitting on a rock and haven't looked up awesome YouTube videos of it, there's some great ones against Tony Ya, who happens to be my favorite movie. Not important. Anyways, um, but he, it's a fantastic and cool fighting style, and um, he happens to be a master of it. And he says he doesn't really do like the moves, which I, you can tell. He obviously is not going to be doing a handstand kick or anything like that. But it's just it's very, very cool to watch because it, what the sport helps build is the dodging ability and, you know, the, the rhythm. And it's just, it's excellent to see um, somebody like this um, fighting in the UFC. Now, Rafael Natal is expected to be fighting again uh, in a fight night after UFC 127. I think it's called Campman versus Sanchez. I might be wrong. I, don't, I, don't, I haven't really looked into that yet. But... He's uh, expected to be fighting. He's replacing another fighter. Again, I don't have my app on me, so I don't really know the exact names of the fighters. They're a little less known. Again, he's not so well known. He's only in a four-fight contract, and I'm hoping he's going to get another one. He has to win this one and probably the next one in order to for them to probably renew his contract. But um, yeah. I definitely think that he uh, is a very, very good fighter. Now, uh, my next fight that I'd like to see him after that, assuming he wins this one, I would like to see him actually... Um, go up against the other undiscovered fighter that I talked about, Rusamar Palhares, because I just think that two, um, I, I think Rusamar is good with the, um, not so much with the striking, I mean, he can handle the striking, and I think that he can, uh, he'd be able to bring the fight down to the ground, and I, I always love to see two really, really skilled Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioners go at it. So, uh, that's it for this episode of Undiscovered Fighter. Uh, hopefully my next episode of, uh, where I pick for UFC 127 will be up tomorrow. Uh, if not, the next day, if not, I'm sorry, I, I'm terrible at making the calls for these things, but it doesn't really matter either way. Um, so that's pretty much it for this episode of Ultimate MMA Brief. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this new, uh, Undiscovered Fighter. If you can't see a picture of him, there, I don't know if you can see that so well on the flip. But, um, yeah, he's, um, I think he's going places. So, um, that's it for now. You've been watching Ultimate MMA Brief. My name is Husset Boy. You've just seen another Undiscovered Fighter. I've said that a couple times. And uh, I'm signing off. Enjoy.